Hi, I'm Suruchi and I'm standing in the living room of David and Mandeep Housego of the lifestyle brand Shades of India. David has been a passionate collector of textiles from Central Asia, some of which David has collected five decades back through his way of travel as a journalist to Iran and Afghanistan, some of which comprise traditional tribal antique rugs, Suzni embroidery tapestries, as well as double ikat coats. These are beautifully displayed across the walls and corners of their residence, while others are stacked neatly in boxes. The rugs in David's collection belong to Turkoman, Persian and Caucasian styles, many dating back to the 19th century. Bashir rugs from Turkoman area are identified through their dense display of designs woven in unusual colors, brownish red base offset by blue, green and black patterns. So of rugs, um, I've collected both uh, Iranian tribal rugs, etc. and some of these Turkoman rugs. So of the Turkoman rugs, I think that the Bashir ones are the most sort of inventive in terms of color, in terms of form, in terms of design, etc. They're the ones I love most. Bashir is in a way a misnomer because there is a small village of Bashir on the Oxus in Uzbekistan, but the carpets weren't made there. But somehow when they got into the markets of Bukhara, then they were called Bashir. And ever, ever since then, everyone calls them Bashir. The collection also includes kilims, horse blankets and saddlebags. A striking piece here is an antique horse blanket woven by the Shah Sawan tribe of Iran in the late 19th century. It was collected by David in the early 1970s in Iran. The design work highlights horses constructed in a geometrical manner using vibrant natural dyes. The most common form of household decoration in Central Asia regions were the large hand-embroidered wall hangings known as Suzanis. Suzni panels were David's first purchase while reporting as a journalist in Afghanistan. A few are recent additions acquired through a dealer during COVID-19 when travel to Uzbekistan had ceased and heirloom pieces emerged in the local market. So this is a Susanne, it's the very first Susanne that I bought and it's an absolutely spectacular piece and took my breath away at the time. I mean, it's a Susanne that comes from Tashkent. On their recent travel to Bukhara and Samarkand in Uzbekistan three years back, David and Mandeep Hausko added a few more textile pieces to their collection. When we travel, we don't know what we're going to find. And it's all a surprise, it's part of our experience. We love the, the carpets, the Susanese, the hand embroideries, which are similar to how we have traditional textiles in India, which are full of stories. So imagine to find a textile which was created 100, 150 years ago, and how it must have been created, with what sense of colour, balance, geometry, what thoughts gone behind. It's extremely fascinating. David has four ikat robes in his collection. These robes were used in Central Asia as clothing as well as decoration items. Different colours in ikat robes reflect engagement of different communities in its production in the 19th century Bukhara. Tajiks, an ethnic group of Central Asia, dyed the red and yellow sections and Jews, the indigo and green. David's fondness for ikat extends to his carpet collection, with ikat's asymmetrical pattern visible in one of the rugs from the 19th century. For David, the interplay of colour and bold abstract designs in textiles and rugs of Central Asia echo contemporary art.